And out of the strike at Kellogg's. Entering its third month, and Kellogg's is now replacing more than 1,000 workers after the union rejected the latest offer from the cereal giant. Alex Perez has the details. Good morning, Alex. Hey, good morning, George. The 1,400 workers have been on strike since October, and since a deal has not been reached, Kellogg says it's moving forward with plans to find permanent replacements for those workers. Now, the striking employees have rejected a five-year contract offer, which would have provided 3% raises and maintained current health care benefits at Kellogg's four plant in Michigan, in Nebraska, Pennsylvania, and Tennessee. The union employees who turned down the deal say they won't return to work until Kellogg stops a two-tier system of wages, which gives newer workers less pay and fewer benefits. In a statement, the president of Kellogg North America says we must take the necessary steps to ensure business continuity. We have an obligation to our customers and consumers to continue to provide the cereals that they know and love. And in another twist here, labor, labor experts say they don't believe Kellogg will be able to find the number of people it needs to replace those workers. So all of this is far from over. TJ? All right, Alex. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.